Oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am trying a whole bunch of new stuff from the drugstore and a bunch of mystery lip color. I have no idea what I even put on. So if you want to see how I did this look and just hang out with it, get ready for me. Make sure to stay tuned. I'm going to start with this new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. It says that it is a medium buildable coverage, no harsh ingredients, anti-pollution, antioxidant, anti-blue light, and oil free. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to try a new technique today with this foundation. It's a technique that Rach Loves does where she'll use her foundation and then spread it all around in her palm and then grab a powder brush and use that to buff it in. We'll see how it goes. I don't love this technique. I feel like it wastes a lot of product and it's not really applying product very well. I know this is a medium coverage foundation, but I feel like I'm getting light coverage at best. So I'm gonna actually switch over to using my regular foundation brush. Okay, so that is the foundation. It does build. It is a tad bit light for me. It does dry down a little bit darker, um, but the shade is just a little bit light for me. Um, and a little pink, I think. I can't quite tell. Um, it covered my red very nicely, but you can still see like my moles and my um, you know face marks through it, which is fine. Totally expected for a medium coverage. Um, it has like almost a powdery finish to it. It's, it's very interesting. Um, but it does build and it does build to about a medium. And for concealer, I'm going to use the old ColourPop. I didn't grab a new concealer when I was at the drugstore. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. So today I'm trying to film a bunch of videos because tomorrow is supposed to be like the biggest storm in many, many years in like North Dakota, Minnesota in the middle here. So I'm going to be probably stuck in the house with my three-year-old, which means that I don't get time to film or even think about taking my hair out of a scrunchie in the morning, let alone put on makeup. So um, I'm going to try to get a few extra ones done today and get them scheduled enough for you. And I have to go grocery shopping. Like it's, there's this so funny thing about being in the Midwest. Whenever there's a storm, um, everyone runs to the store and buys like all the bread and milk. I don't know why. <laughs> like, the storms usually only last like a day or two and it's not like we get stuck in the house for weeks on end, but all the bread and milk is gone. Like there's gonna be some sort of shortage on perishable goods um, just because it snows a lot. So I think that's super funny. Um, but anyway, I'm going to the store to buy bread and milk for my grandmother after this. She is so funny because she lives by herself, so she doesn't like to cook anymore. So she just eats the weirdest foods. Like I swear, um, she eats the foods that she wishes she would have been able to eat as a kid, just like whenever she wanted or because um, she always feels like she needs to be on a diet or something or did. So now that she's old and living on her own, I think she feels like she can let go and do whatever she wants. So she eats ice cream constantly <laughs> and chocolate milk and bananas and toast and just like all the funniest stuff. She can make leftovers last for three days. It just cracks me up. So I have to go to the store and buy her some chocolate milk, bananas and ice cream to prepare for the storm. And for eyes today, I picked up the Maybelline Soda Pop Palette. Also a recommendation from Rach Loves. Clearly, I've been watching a lot of her channel lately. But she talks about this palette and says she absolutely loves it. And I loved this purple shade here. So even if I don't like anything else and that one works out, I'll be pretty happy with this purchase. I'm going to start with the shade Cherry on top right here. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've got going on here. I've been trying to keep... Oh, hey. Pigmented the 
<laughs> deck clear because we're watching my parents' dog. And so he's this little tiny shih tzu, so he goes and pees on the back deck. Um, but now that's all covered in snow. And so if you know any shih tzus, you know that they're like the fanciest, prissiest little dogs. So he won't go out there to pee if there's any snow on it. <laughs> so I've been trying to shovel that and it's like, I hate winter so bad. I hate it. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, hey, next I'm gonna grab this bright orange shade here, crushing, and start to kind of blend it up. Yeah, so winter is terrible and horrible, and I grew up here. So here's the deal. So like, you guys know, I grew up in Fargo, and then I moved to San Diego, and I moved back. So I grew up here, and like, I think when you grow up in a climate, you're like, oh, this isn't bad, this is just how it is. And um, then I left and came back, and I'm like, yeah, this is bad sucks here like the summers are so nice and spring is everyone talks about how wonderful and awesome spring is but really spring is just all the snow melting and making disgusting mud and dirt and floods so the spring is okay summer is nice fall gorgeous but winter horrible and spring is just dirty but the thing is everything's very affordable here we'll say which makes it kind of worth it it's like do I like to be able to purchase groceries and also pay my car bill yes um, do I like to shovel snow no it's horrifying but um, it's worth it I don't know it's worth it to be close to family and all of that um, <laughs> She says very, very convincingly. All right, so next I'm gonna grab, um, let's do the shade Chilling right here and just continue blending that orange up a little bit. So where in the country are you guys from? I wanna know if you guys are also suffering with the crazy, super snowy winter, or if you're somewhere enjoying the beach, or what is it like where you guys are at? Give me something to fantasize about while I'm out chipping ice off of my front steps later. I went off camera and did a little bit of a cut crease because I can't do it on camera. It always, I don't know, I get in my head and it messes up and it looks super weird. So here it is. So now I'm gonna go in with the super fun purpley color on this little brush and this color is called Grape Pop, which is I think the whole name of the palette. Um. I don't know. And I'm gonna put this on the inner corner and we're gonna kind of blend out to some other colors and just see how we do. purple is really pretty it's really fun all right now I'm gonna grab the shade cherry cola here and just continue the blend Okay, I'm gonna grab that cherry on top shade again with the same brush and just kind of deepen up the corners a bit. I really, so far, have been very impressed with this palette. It, um, the shimmers are very soft, so they go on very nicely, and the mattes blend very well. And I like that there's a really nice variety of shades in here, so I think you can do a lot of really fun looks. Like, you can do some, you know, pretty nice. There's some really good neutrals up here. You can do some light shades. The purples really pop, and they're just really pretty. And I'm just gonna take this little brush again and just blend this all underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna kind of mix together the two purple shades. So the grape pop and the cherry on top. And... Nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take this blue raspberry shade right here and use that underneath my eyes. I think it's really pretty.
and we'll make a fun look. Not sure how I'm feeling about this foundation as it settles in. It looks a little dry. Like I said, it looked like it had a powder finish. It just feels like it looks dry. It doesn't feel dry on, but like, it looks like I put a very heavy like layer of powder on and powder hasn't touched my face at all. So I'm not super stoked on this foundation. Okay, I'm gonna go put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, mascara is on. I put a little bit of this champagne color in my waterline just to brighten it up a little bit. Eh, not, not sure if I love that or not. I may pop back in with some black in that waterline. I don't know, we'll see. But it's time for brows. I grabbed another LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil, but this one is in the shade Brunette. The one I had before was just too dark, but I really liked it, so I grabbed one that's a little bit lighter. I like this one because it's so teeny tiny, so you can just really like define your um, brow hairs, and it just is nice. Let's see how this color goes. So this might be one of those situations where I gotta mix them up a little bit. This might be a shade, oh, you know what? I think this is a winner. Yeah, I just, I've had the worst time finding brow products lately and I don't know why. Actually, I do. I do know exactly why. I'm letting my gray hair grow out, so I've got my grombre going on. So my hair on the bottom is dyed like 4N, so it's pretty dark brown, but then up here it looks lighter because it's gray. So it's just, it's been difficult for me to find a brow product that goes well with what I've got going on in my hair. So it's like, I know I should probably just go with my natural brow color, but I can't really tell what that is because they're kind of sparse. I don't know. Brows are not easy for me, I guess. Although, I think this one might be a winner. I really like how this looks. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And it's like, I came into the brow <laughs> the world of learning how to do my brows when like super crazy brows were the thing so I'm still like transitioning into letting them kind of look a little bit more natural because I grew up in the 90s when um, you know over plucked super skinny crazy like tweaker brows or speed brows is one of my favorite podcasters slash comedians calls them where they're just like over plucked and super skinny and shaped like a comma for some reason. So I feel like I definitely did damage my brows back in the day. Like they don't grow in I think how they're supposed to. I try to follow the natural shape as much as I can, but my poor brows, they've been abused over the years. And now I'm just gonna do a little extra definition with the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Gel. I tried this the other day in my Rimmel full face and I kind of like it. I'm actually gonna do a little shape with my spoolie here. I see some patchy spots, but I like it. I think it works pretty well. And um, again, I was not used to using a brow gel, but it seems like it holds things in place and doesn't look too crazy, so. And for contour today, I'm gonna to use the old trusty Wet n Wild contouring palette that is so dirty, but like the inside looks pristine and beautiful. I don't know why. I just really like this one. I feel like the color is not too, or like, okay. I don't know why, I just really like this one. I feel like the shade is not too dark, not too light, not too warm. Um, it's sheer, but it's pigmented. I don't know. I just really like this one. Um, I like Hoola for the summertime. It's That one's a little bit dark for me. I do kind of want to try the Hoola light. Um, but, you know, that's 30 bucks. This is 5 And I feel like this works just as well and looks nice. I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. My poor little baby hairs. Look what bronzing does to them. <laughs> and when I say baby hairs, I literally mean they're like hairs from having a baby. All of this stuff just broke off and has been growing back in. So, yeah. 
but when I get my brush up in there, it makes them just like dance around all nuts. But do you see what I mean? Like this just looks nice. And blush, I'm gonna dip into this little light shade from the Rimmel and Kate Moss little trio. I just, I like this blush color. I think it looks nice on and it's not too much and it's just kinda a nice kiss. And for highlight, I grabbed something really fun. This is the Maybelline Master Holographic, and it is probably not gonna show up on camera how like glittery and crazy and fun this is. So I thought with this eye look, it would be perfect. I'm gonna just grab my fan brush and <laughs> so pretty. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be glittery and just kind of extreme, but well, if you can't have fun with the purple and orange eye look, when can you, right? Yeah. If you're looking for a sun-kissed look, this is definitely not it. But if you want something... Kind of different and it's cool toned, which is kind of nice, but it's got a pink shift to it. And it's got, you know, like full-on glittery chunks in it. So it's going to add a little bit of texture. But it is super duper shiny. That is for true. Here I am with lipstick on. I can't tell you what it is because I layered like four together because nothing was working how I wanted it to. Um, but this is where we ended up and I think it looks pretty good. It actually matches my shirt. So this is the look for today. Thank you guys for joining me while I tried on a bunch of new stuff and talked about how horrible the weather is here. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel and I will love you forever. All right, have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.